Hello friends, how's it going? This is your friend Jeff playing the Temple of Elemental Evil. Circle of Eight new content and Temple Plus where you can play it on your modern computer. Now, this temple part here, the fire temple, this is the very hardest one to do on this dungeon here. And I gave these guys some f fire protection. Um, I got up over here. I don't know how long these spells last, so I gotta try to do this quickly, and that's why I paused it, so that way, you know what I mean, um, I gotta kick the battle off, but I don't know, because like I said, I don't want to lose any of my characters, and um, th this is very difficult. So what I want to do is get back into the game here and tell Melanie... Now, unfortunately, um, this is not what I was hoping because she's over here and I'm not going to be able to get her to do what I wanted her to do. So now I'm in a problem here, so now i got to bring up my... Right away. Maybe or will even protect us. Yep, and they're already throwing the uh, fireballs, which really sucks. Okay. It's all on who has the... Oh, and this is her. Darn. Yeah, this didn't go the way I wanted it to. I'll tell you that right now. Sure. But of course. Well, like I said, um... Okay, is, Mel is it... No, it's not Melanie's turn yet. Okay, no. I just wanted her to move over there. Um, her next turn, she, seeing she won't have that, I'm gonna try to meld her into stone, and and I'm gonna hope to withdraw to here maybe or here, and let them pound on her, and maybe we can do something. I mean, I don't know. Like this is these guys, they're always throwing those fireballs, and. Um, even though we have some fire protection, it'll kill us easily. And um, I had them all on red robes and um, thinking that we could come over here and set up properly, but we can't because they, they go active on us real quick because we already killed everybody and they're all aware of it. So no matter what we do, um, you know, this is going to be the hardest because of them going reactive on us. And, you know what I mean, like I said, uh, you can see how, even with fire protection, those fireballs are very damaging. So, uh, anyways, I already moved her. She can't do anything else, so let's skip that. And I just was giving you my opinion of what's going on here now. Like catcher, what would be the best thing that she could do at this very moment is yeah, everybody, everybody is healthy again. So like catcher, I don't think she's going to be in a position to do melee. 
Oh, and she can still do a, this. Okay, so hold on. Let's get this one up. There we go. All right. Well, that's that's good. At least this one now. Summer has some protection. She was the last one. So now Falcon's turn is next. He's over here. He's been hurt. Um, we can't go into this. So I can either get him back to be healthy or I could right away I can have him do do this for now and he can, he can shoot an arrow so let's go ahead and do that okay. seeing he's back here and now summer now what she can do is right away Let's try Holy Smite. Alright, so that uh, did something. So we'll say okay, and let's see how this goes. Uh-oh, here they come again. Ay, 30 damage! Man, that is incredible. Even with fire protection. You can resist only 10, but man. My goodness. Alright. Alright, now can we... Can we see if we can... Can we go okay. back there? Okay. And and we lost our energy. Now here comes another one. Darn it. Sheesh. It's incredible. Now Elmo. Alright, Elmo, what can we do with you? And he even moves, he can't go far. I'm telling you, he cannot go far. Can you actually go over here and hide behind this pillar? Man, it sucks now. Okay, so now... now she can do another... I think she can do another ice right storm. Away. So let's go ahead and... It's only going to hit this one, the, uh, these ones back here. Oh yeah, they, they could be... Where are they? Alright. See, my question is, is when the big genies, or whatever they're called, when they come up this way... Melanie, when is it Melanie's turn? Right now it's hers. Okay. Right away. Alright now, let me see if I can get her. To go over here. Okay, now he's coming up. He went into this. And now Melanie's turn. Yes. Now, my idea was to get her to get I'm as close it. as possible. We can get some vision here, and then I want her to meld into stone. I'm on it. Okay, so my my plan is 
for them to attack her where we can then, you know, attack these guys. Or, you know, to get in here, like, like, I, like my, my plan, like I'm trying to tell you what my plan is, but I mean, okay, so light catcher, she hasn't been hurt yet, so. But I think she can, let me get her to, because I think, until they attack us, we we need to. Oh yeah, she she has a okay. Done. All right, we hit him. Oh yeah, see he totally bypassed her. Darn it. Right away. See, this is just incredible. Okay, so Falcon at the very moment. Will do. Hold up. It's me. I'm off. Comes another one. Man, that's that is just plain incredible. Okay, lady. Okay, lady. Okay, now. Can she do one more? Uh, she's even hurt too. Like, man. Okay, let me see if she can do. If you insist. Another ice storm. And then um, she heads right over away. here. No. Alright, well anyways, like I'm gonna do here. As you wish. Dang. Yes, sir. Like I said, I don't know if my strategy is gonna work or not, but this is extremely difficult. Of those fireballs now, light catcher. You don't have a target to shoot at, that's a problem. Whatever you say. Okay, now what can I do? Can I send him over here? As you wish. Like, I don't even know right if away. what I'm doing is any of this going to work. You know what I mean? Because we can't see them and they can throw at us. Alright, now... Yeah, see they're still throwing. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. Okay, here here he is. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't even think that would work. Sure. Sure. If you insist. Oh, so I, know, I thought she had another thing, but you know, I'm just gonna have to use her to shoot. Okay. I don't even know if this is going to work. Like I said, I don't want any of my characters to die. And... But with them throwing those fireballs, boy, now... That, that seemed to work. It, it sickened it. Like, I didn't know that that would work, so... Um... So let me see what I could do with her. Okay, well, I'm glad she she laid she pulled, she planted this one because it could have been that little tiny one that would have got killed so easily. So now, who do we got here? Me. Now, of course, I can't shoot from there. So let me go over right here. Away. Can I shoot? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. See, he's gonna. See, that sucks. He knows that he can't hurt her, and he bypassed this one. So now, now we're, we're we got a real problem here because I got everybody on bows. Okay, lady. So now I gotta go back to melee, and that really sucks. Because I was gonna try to withdraw, but at the same token. Okay, lady. insist I can do to her because this thing's got large reach. I 
I don't even know what weapons. Okay. Oh, good. Well, well, you know what? I, I'm gonna have to tell her to get over here and fight. I'm off. Cause we have no choice at this point. All right, now. Right away. Okay, we're committed to here now. Now, can she do? If you insist. This is so, uh, I don't know if I can do this. Because <laughs> the moment they throw a fireball, that's going to put us in a bad position. Okay. But I think as long as he's right, this one's here, Salamander. I'm off. Like I said, if they throw a fireball at the wizard, she'll be dead, so I'm really taking chances here, but I got her over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and put four on this one. That's all we can do at the moment. Got nothing else. Uh All misses. Whatever you say. All misses. By the God's will. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're back to her, so again... Sure. Oh boy, this is... this is very, uh... Like, like I said, it's touch and go, I mean... We're looking okay at that moment. Like I said, if fireball at that, she's dead. And I'm only doing it with these two right here, so... I don't know if this is gonna work, but... Right away. Yep, all misses. Yeah, I think because it's 
poisoned it, it, it lost its action maybe. So that is actually good. It's good that I put this here. Oh, but he's sickened too, but... Because if this thing strikes, it, it can strike six times in a row. So I mean, taking 10 to 15 health each time and that can kill us easily, but... But we almost got it dead. And now I think she can finish her off with the magic missiles. Right away. And I could do this without getting one of my characters dead. That's the whole point of this. All right, I think I did it. Like Of course. I mean, we we won, didn't we? Let's see. Um, let's get everybody back to their primary weapons. So yeah, this was like I said. Um, I had tried this a couple of times and. I lost characters every time I did it, except for this time right here, so... So this is the way we're gonna go in it then, I guess. Alright, that should... Yeah, okay. So yeah, putting the robes on, the red robes, didn't help. Because the moment you come in here, because I killed everything on this dun in this dungeon here... What it did was, it, um... It was very difficult, because when th those two salamanders that were here, throw flinging those fireballs, even with fire protection, um, you, you can see how we lost t like 20 health points each time one of those, and, th and each one got to throw one. And depending on, you know, if he throw it in the same spot, he could, like, really devastate us and stuff. So, um, um, uh, and putting Melanie like this with the stone, um, they didn't really attack her. So, you know what I mean? They knew that they probably couldn't hurt her. So, but me putting that other thing here that I can do once a day, um, with, with her... Yeah, with this thing here, the, this fungus, you know, figurine allows the world to summon fungal once per day, and and that when I when I did that, that was a big one that that she put here, because there's a little one that only has like 20 health and it can get easily wiped out, but that one there, that was a perfect one to be landed, and then doing the stink thing kind of worked because. That one was uh, poison, so I mean, in some way, he he didn't strike. The second one didn't strike. The first one struck us, but I mean, the second one didn't strike us. So, um, and that was really good. So, let's see if there's any... Let's get all our guys over here. And I just need my rogue over here to check out... Oh, look at the good stuff that he had. Who doesn't have much? I am encumbered. Oh, we got some rope. I don't know what that is. It doesn't say. I am encumbered. Magic rope, but we'll have to unlock that. I am carrying too much. Yeah, I know, but we're done, so I mean... Alright, my robe come down here. There's a chest. Well, yeah, and let's go ahead and do a F12 and save because, you know what I mean, <laughs> I didn't lose the character. That was the whole point of this. Let's do a search. Done. Of course, there's always a trap that's disabled. 
Oh no! Whoa! Very well. She did not disable it. Very well. All right. Well, I think we can now open it. I guess. But done. I mean, that gave uh, that yes. gave uh, forty-two damage. Look at that, and I'm only getting half. Ah, but because we're protected by 42 energy, that blast didn't hurt us. Wow. Okay, we got the magic great sword that does cold damage. So, um, remember when I created Falcon? I gave him the masterwork great sword, but my plan was for him to have this great sword. So now, let's take a look and see, like, we don't, we'll have to unlock this, we're, you know, identify it, but I mean, let's look, um, I think is it right here? Let's see if I give him this. Yeah, this bumped up to 17. So, this will do cold dam, uh, like, uh, from what I remember of the game, this will do cold damage, and I don't know, I think it's, it's a plus two, so... Because this went from 15 to 17. So we'll have to unlock that. And we have uh, a magic ring. So this is fire protection, I believe. So who? Uh, she she does have some fire protection. He has the... Uh, he has... Uh, so who? Well, yeah, why don't I give it to my wizard? So my wizard will have... Um, Protection one plus fire protection. So I'll give her that and then we'll take these. These are probably these are probably fire protection potions probably. But we'll take that. So alright, I mean that does that. So um as you can see I mean, it's a little dark here. I don't know why it's dark right there. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's because we can go in here and then that'll take us down or something. Um, but um, I strongly believe that this... Whoop, well, I, I believe that we've... I've, I've cleared out this dungeon. Like, I, I really think that it's over. Like... I just had to do that fire one, and that was what this video was, like I set it up. Because um, we last left off here, and we just had to go in here to do this, and this whole dungeon is done, so I can go ahead and um, end this. Well, I can end, uh, like I said, we're going to do that, but let me, let me just do this. Then. Let's do what I would normally do. Like, I usually don't show you this, but... I go to the stairwell here. Because that puts everybody here. And we can uh, rest until we're healed. And, and, and that's going to take off all the spells and stuff like that. And that gets us back up to where we would be. Now I gotta, um, and, and then what I, usually I don't show this in the video, but, um, I'm gonna do a F12 and save, but I guess I could just show you guys, um, what the heck, cause we gotta undo all this, so I may as well include this, cause normally I don't, and you saw the battle, if you don't, want to see any more of the video you know nobody nobody watches these anyway I think so I'll just show you what I would do because this is the end of this dungeon and I might as well so I just usually take this and I go here and I go to upper temple uh, temple entrance and that takes us here and then we can go right, right here And then I usually, um, 
I usually go to Nub. And that puts us here. I mean, I know this is boring, but... And then I usually go to here. And it's going to take a while for those guys to get here. But that's what I usually do. So I'm just trying to show you. Because it's quicker to go to Nub than to go to uh, Omelette. But, I'll tell you this. If I had Otis with me, which is Elmo's brother, I wouldn't come to here. Because if you come to here, he'll leave your group. Once you leave the temple, he'll leave your group. If you come here. And you can get him back, but you can only get him back one more time. And if you take him back to Nub, he'll leave you for good, and then you don't have him. And he's a level 10 fighter. So usually I don't keep, I don't, usually don't keep Melanie, but anyways, I'm, I'm just telling you what I used to do in this game. Um, because you definitely want, uh, Otis, because he's a, he's a level 10 fighter. And like I said, right now we're level 8, so I mean, we've been getting leveled up. Now I use her because she has the best appraisal. And do you have time for more questions? Uh... I usually ask him. I have come upon nothing at all. And then let's go ahead and do this. So when I'm here, I can identify and like I can go like along here. And if there's anything that's not identified, I can um, unlock it and stuff. So now here, I'll do identification because we want to know what this is. It's a flaming long sword. Oh, and this is silver banded mail. Um, oh, and the rope. So now I, I, I'm trying to do shift and it won't let me look at this rope. Oh, it's because I, I probably, I am, I've unlocked these, I'm just doing these. Okay, so hold on. Oh yeah, and let me get to him. Let me go to identify. All right, yeah, this is the frost man. All right, and then we had uh, her, I think I gave her, let's identify this. And we can identify these things. So yeah, these are the kind of things that I do when I'm over here. Like I don't mind spending the 100 gold to identify stuff because it's quick. Elmo's okay, she's okay. So we did identify that. I just look at everything so that way I know that it's been identified. All right, so we don't need that. We can sell that. don't need these. We'll sell those. And sell this. And I'm not going to wear this because I just am not. And we can get a um, thousand gold pieces for that. There we go. All right now, a rope of entanglement functions like a hold monster spell once per day. Oh, so it's it's a magical. Well, I'm not going to be able to do magic, but I think she can do magic. So why don't I give that to her? The flame and long sword. <laughs> Metal weapon 
medium-sized metal sword that can be welded with one hand. The blade of this sword produces flames. Plus one, plus one, slashing, fire damage. Well, um... I mean, she could use it. Her specialty is long swords. So if we need, we're fighting something cold, I guess I could switch out the weapon and give her that. So, yeah. Alright, we got that I can get rid of now. Oh, we have we have boots like what? Oh, I guess that dude had boots. These boots. Just doing a last look of everybody for a moment. Alright, I think that should be it other than selling whatever else I want to sell, but I think that's about all that I would do at this point. Um, i just talk one more time. Yeah, Melanie can only hold 30 pounds, so she can only hold one robe. And I thought by giving her the red robe and giving everybody red robe, we'd be able to go to those fire guys and talk to them, but... They were, they were hostile simply because, like I said, I killed everything in the dungeon. So if you do that, you, you don't have those options, I guess. But there was somebody that had gloves that I want to just get rid of. Everything else I think I want to keep. Yeah, right here. Like, I'll keep fancy gloves until I get, I mean, boots until I get, like, some special power boots. These were latherous boots, so I kept them just for the heck of it. Alright, so at this point here, this is what I, you know, this is just dead time. That you, like, you're probably not watching, but just in case you are, I just figure I'll show you this that I do once in a great while. So, alright, we did that. We're going to come over here. By the God's will. And I could show you that I would, how I did it each time when I was making these videos, right? Is this would be my, my routine, is I'd come here and sell everything that I wanted to sell to make money. And then I would look around for this place over here and I'd go here. And I would do this through all the last few videos that I've been making. But I wouldn't show you this, like I, I, I would end the video wherever I was, in whatever dungeon, and whatever battle. And I'd just end that, because you know, you guys didn't want to see this stuff anyways, nobody watches these. So I mean, I'm making these videos, so that way someone can search the internet, and they can put in a keyword of Romag, or Belsadnig or whatever and they'll find my video that deals with that Will particular do. thing or that or a particular quest but um, and that's why I, I made I'm making these videos and so that way it could help one person who searches and says they want to do a quest in Hamlet and they can type in the quest and I got that quest name name in the description and then they can find that and that's the whole point of doing this but I'm just showing you this here, if you're watching. I would talk, I kept Lodris alive, so I could talk to her. And trade with her. 
Now she doesn't have them because the last time I made a video, I came here and I bought these gloves here. It's these gloves right here, the dex... These gloves. These thin level gloves are very flexible and allow for a delicate uh, manipulation. Uh, they add to the wearer's dexterity score in the form of an enhancement bonus of two. So these would cost like about 1200 gold or something like that. And so every one of my characters, except Elmo, Like, I wouldn't even have done it for her, but um, I bought an extra here and I said, Oh, she already, she already had them, so I had an extra pair, so I gave it to her. I mean, I, I could buy one for Elmo too, but this, you know, like I, it, it, this, this restocks every so many days or something. So I, so I buy some of the stuff from her, and that's why I keep her alive. Um, you you could have assassinated her instead of this guy that was over here, but and we could we could kill everybody here. I mean, we're powerful enough to kill everybody, to get the experience. But then I would not have been able to buy all this stuff over the course of a month of me giving everybody dexterity gloves. And that's the only reason I came okay. in here to just talk about that. So now that I did that, I can go F12. And the only other thing I would have done is uh, I'd go I go to um, Omelette from here. Now I can fight this if I wanted to. Like I don't even know what this dude is. And I could do this to um, show you because I did F12 just now. I mean, who is this guy? Is he some powerful? Yeah, let's go ahead and do this because I've never seen this guy. Uh, let's let's engage. He might be powerful because well, let's see. Maybe Ori protect us. Oh, he doesn't look that powerful to me. All right. By the gods' will. You go right here, and. You go uh, ready versus approach. Okay. Okay, lady. Everybody else, just get away. Because we don't want to fight in the water. Yes. Okay, here he comes. We'll do. Oh, so he's some kind of like undead creature, I guess. We'll do. I didn't know, like, he could have been at 100 power or 100 health or something. So I don't think he had anything. I'm no. All right, well. All right, so this was, like, that was nothing. I mean, I I was afraid, like, I, he could have had, like, 100 health or 200 health. I mean, he could have been something really powerful. I did not know. But, you know, what the heck, I just showed you that. So that's, so when I go from, from the temple to Nub, you usually don't get these survival things, but when I when you do the long distance between nub or temple to here, you get a chance of those, and I usually don't engage in those. That's why I have high survival t uh, things. But anyways, this was just to show you uh, my normal path of of doing this. So now I I'm in uh, Homlet, and everything's cool here. And I could go and talk to the smith or whatever, but um, what I do, usually do is I just go over here. Done. I open up this barrel, because with new content you get this barrel in various places. And I just put stuff here that I don't use. And I think there's only one thing that I want to put here, I think. Let me see. I hope there's something that I would put here. Oh yeah, I just wanted to put the master work um, sword here. 
because uh, when I created this character at the very beginning of this, if you watch my video, um, you can see that I, I you know, I, I weapon focused him on the great sword because I knew that this sword existed in the game and, and I wanted uh, that sword. So now it pays off because we now have this sword. Oh yeah, look it. Um, this sword is a plus three enhancement. Plus three magic. And the added thing is the frost damage. So that is why I wanted my barbarian to be focused on this weapon at the start when I created the character. And now you know, this is the sword that I wanted him to have. Just like my fighter, when we rescue the prince, we're going to get the scather. I think it's called scather. Or Fragneth is the one that he has, and then he gives you a sister of it when when he leaves the temple, and he'll, he'll give you that. And so, uh, uh, so my fighter will end up with that, and, and he has to be chaotic good in order to use the scatter because the scatter will hit every single time; it does not miss. So that's why you know I I created a fighter with this particular good uh, chaotic because that's the only way that you can use that sword and uh, so yeah I think that's all I wanted to do so I would show you like this this video because of that battle and if you're watching this I'm just showing you my my normal routine that I would not show in a video because it's boring but so now that we did that we're gonna go ahead and do a f12 and do a quick save because when you travel you never know what you're gonna get into so we're gonna go back to the temple so this is how I'd go back to the temple and see it wants me to engage in this but I have high survival tactics so I, I, I want the choice so we're gonna avoid that I mean you could do that to get the experience but anyways and now um, we're gonna take the map Come on. There we go. And I usually go to uh, the spiral staircase because I know here, you know, I can safe, I can safely re rest and stuff. But because the next time I run this, I'm going to be going down another level of dungeons, and I don't know what I'm going to go into. Um. I don't know if I want to keep um, the spells. So I could I could technically um, change these spells. Like the ice storm, I think I'll keep for now because that's an offensive weapon protection from energies um, level three I mean I think I'll take uh, one of those off and I'll get her back to um, cure moderate wounds and then these other things I think I'll keep so for her, I'll have to rest her. Now my uh, wizard. Ice storms are nice, but um, I think we're going to take uh, two of those off. And I think I want one of those. And then I want to try this. Now of these, I'll keep the two fireballs, and I'll keep and and I, and I might as well keep her magic missiles. I mean, well, let me take off 
Let me take off two of those because I do want a choice of grease and maybe sleep. I could take one more magic missile off and go with a large person too. So yeah, maybe I'll take one more magic missile off and I'll go with a, a larger person. So yeah. And now as far as her, her goes, I can take one protection off. And that's a level three. So we have Cure Sirius, uh, Siren Light. Let's go with a prayer. Domain, I'll keep that the same, I guess. And then her, I, I focused on that, but let me go ahead and... Let's go ahead and take out... Let's give her an entangle. And maybe delay poison, I guess. Like I, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be running into, but I'll keep one protection of energy just in case. And so normally I would rest right here, the eight hours. And we'll end the video right here because the next time I, I do it we'll 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 go down into the next dungeon, so